the word is action. Mm -hmm. And uh, you need to have what I call an RGA every day. RGA stands for results generating activity. So Mm -hmm. this podcast is not a results generating activity. We're watching. They're watching us talk. Mm -hmm. And they're taking notes. Mm -hmm. That did not make you any money. Mm -mm. The only thing you can do is decide to sell something. You have to sell something. Good afternoon, good evening. Jesse Mills here with the Creative Cashflow Show, where we're teaching you real estate secrets for achieving time and money freedom. And oh my gosh, am I pumped because I have someone on the show today who is the king of time and money freedom. Not just one, but both. The one, the only best-selling author, infomercial, extraordinaire, speaker, all over the damn world, Mr. Robert Allen. Hi, Jesse. I need some like that. Thanks for being there, Bob. I appreciate it. Awesome. Yeah, man. I am pumped. I am pumped. I'll tell you what, when when people start talking about anything real estate related, um, and you go back 30 years, your name is like the top of the list for almost anything. 40, I should say. Yeah, 40, right? Not even 30. Actually, Nothing Down came out in 1980. It's been revised many times since, but that was the first edition. So it's been 42 years. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Now, how many many best-selling books do you have? I have uh, four New York Times bestsellers, but usually I have 10 books. So they're, they're all bestsellers in one way or shape or form because I can always drive them to Amazon, right? Um, Absolutely. Nothing Down is the, is the all-time bestseller in real estate hardcover. So that's, that's this one. And then that was followed by Creating Wealth, which was also a number one New York Times bestseller. Mm-hmm. And then you got one minute millionaire. You got the road to wealth. Yeah, I got uh, the road to wealth. Uh, and uh, basically it's called the challenge. I'm happy to give that to your guests, by the way. Uh, oh, the challenge amazing. came out with my third major book, but you can see the title and the subtitle are not very good. <laughs> well, not everybody wants a challenge, right? <laughs> exactly. And not everybody, you know, send me to any unemployment line. Let me select someone who's broke out of work and discouraged. Usually, usually people don't go into a bookstore to buy a book with that subtitle. But I refreshed it and, uh, and created a book called The, Ch- the Challenge. The Challenge. Which, which um, I can give your guests a copy of. Oh, that'd be it's amazing. It's been re- refreshed, re-edited, and, uh, and it's, uh, they'll get the digital copy of it. But it'll be my gift to anybody of them who watch it because it's me going to an unemployment line mm-hmm. and picking people off the line and say, would you like to change your life? You know, then do what I tell you to do for 90 days. And if you'll do that, then you'll be back on your feet, 5,000 cash in the bank, never to set foot in an unemployment line again. And we did it. And we went to the unemployment lines of St. Louis, Missouri, and we picked people right off the unemployment line and we trained them and taught them. And anyway, that's what that book is all about. And multiple streams of income is, is also hugely popular. That's what I spend. When I go around the world and speak, that's what I speak about. And then finally, my co author, Mark Victor Hansen and I wrote The One Minute Millionaire and three other two other books. But anyway, that that's that's me as an author. So you're <laughs> you're you're willing to share some of that with with our viewers and our listeners? Jesse, I'll send you the the a copy of the challenge and okay. you just send it to your database. I, and- I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll tell you what, if you are interested and uh, getting this and you're a moron if you're not, if you don't already have it, but get in another format as well. Um, text us at 612-662-6629. Okay. That's my new, my new business text line, 612-662-6629. Okay. And uh, we'll put the link below as well and write the word book. Okay. Write the word book and we will know, uh, and then we'll get you all the details on, on, on getting it to you. So that is awesome. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Oh my God. You're welcome. My, my, my pleasure, uh, Jesse, because that's what I do. I, I, I feel it's my purpose in life to share the message of financial freedom all over the world. Many of your guests are younger, so they probably haven't seen me over the last 10 years. Because as of the, uh, the debacle of 2008 to 2010, 
we all kind of know what that's like. Well, nobody's buying real estate seminars or real estate books when their own house is upside down. So I went international and I went to speak in Russia and China and Japan and Australia and South Africa and, and all over the world in Latvia and Kazakhstan. And, oh my gosh. And, uh, and, I, and I, Singapore, I love it. I love it because I got a chance to travel. And then when I, we came back from Japan, on the 8th of March, 2020, after a very successful <laughs> speaking gig with my wife and I, we had so much fun. We love Japan. And when we came back that very next day, the world shut down. And so did my international speaking business. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Just like that. Just like, Just like so. Like overnight. Now I'm, I'm back in the States. Mm -hmm. And my books are now being promoted more here. And that's why you and I are talking right now. That is amazing. That so I tell you what, there, there's so much I want to get into, and you have an incredible amount that you can share with people just in real estate alone with creative real estate, which uh, of course is our awesome connection, and we have more than that. But um, and so many things that I I would love to pick your brain and learn. But I think what's really interesting is talking about your history, your background, what you're doing, and the time that we're in right now, and and, and the economy. Things are things are changing. Things are always changing, yeah, of course, yeah. right? You can never never assume it's staying the same. But um, man, with inflation the way that it is right now, and the economy, and we're at a you know forty year high with inflation, the middle class is shrinking, and just it's you know you're 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 on the high side of the low side, it seems like, and a lot of folks are really rethinking what they do for work, um, taking a break, right? Maybe not wanting to go back to what they were doing. A lot of things have changed the last few years, and I think you know there's so many so many areas we could go with this. But multiple streams of income, not only is the book that you literally wrote <laughs> called yeah. "Multiple Streams of Income," but you are living proof of exactly how to do that. And I think there's never been a more crucial time in history to take control of your own financial future and have multiple streams of income because you can't rely on just one source or oh. one person or one thing. You can't. But it has to be a special kind of income. So mm. let's talk about, yes, you need multiple streams. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean going and getting another job. No, Ooh, that good call. A, a setting up a stream of income, maybe while you're working on your active job income, or if you're in a business mm -hmm. and you're actively building your business, but there is a side hustle. And your side hustle is, how can I create streams of income while I sleep? So yes. multiple streams of income, the subtitle is how to generate a lifetime of unlimited wealth, meaning the wealth flows into you 24 hours a day. And so in, in this book, I talk about 10 ways of doing that. Um, there's not just real estate. There are three ways we do it in real estate. You've got tax mm -hmm. lien certificates. That's a real estate. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got um, you know, buying uh, a, a limited partnership where somebody else does the, the building, the buying, the, the managing, and then you're just a silent partner. And, or you're in there actively. You're building it yourself. You're buying onesies and twosies all, all by yourself. Mm -hmm. But there's also uh, seven other different ways of, of making money in real estate. For example, one of, one of my ways mm -hmm. is in addition to me building my money, uh, my freedom and financial freedom in uh, real estate, I also decided it was my purpose in life to write a book, which I wrote the book, Nothing Down. Now, that book was written 42 years ago. Wow. I worked hard writing the book at that time. This was in 1979, you know. But every six months, I still get a royalty. That's wow. not big. It's a couple thousand bucks. It, it doesn't matter, you know. But when you think about the work I did 42 years ago, Mm -hmm. And now I, I, I still those getting paid. That's a couple thousand bucks. Yeah. Two, every six months. That means wow. that the, the book is still out there while I sleep. The book is selling in bookstores all around the world. I get a check for multiple streams of income is an audio program on, on audible. Mm -hmm. And I get probably six or $7,000 a year from this book, which I wrote in 2000. And wow. then I, I published the audio program in 1996. Oh my so gosh. this was done through Nightingale Conant. Nightingale Conant, you know, promotes it, does it, sends it to Audible. And five or six times a year, I get a thousand, two thousand dollar check for wow. work that I did in 1996. 
Of course, yeah. I refreshed it in 2012, I think. But uh -huh. the, the, the bottom line is, this is just a, an evidence to you that there are other things you can do to generate streams of income. But most of your clients are in real estate. That's where their heart is. So we can talk about that. Well, a, a lot of them are, but honestly, you know, the creation of this show, it's been, you know, something I've been planning on for a while is I don't want to do just real estate because it's about lifestyle freedom and financial freedom. And, you know, one of the things that we, we talked about just the other day together on our Zoom, right, is a lot of people chase the money because they think the money gives them everything else that they want. Yeah. When really, you and I know, and I'm sure you have a lot of folks that you could probably have as examples who have quite a bit of financial abundance, but they don't have the time, they don't have the freedom, they don't have the flexibility. Right. And so if you're just trading dollars for hours, even if you have a lot of money coming in, that still doesn't give you freedom. So to me, anything that's allowing me to, you know, to travel, I love to travel. I know you love yeah. to travel. Obviously yeah. you've been amazing. How many countries have you been to? How many, you think? How, how many countries? I'm 75 years old. I've been to 72 countries. Oh my god! And I only got another 100 and 25 to go. <laughs> you look fantastic, man. What you got to give me some diet diet tricks and, and tips. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you look uh, good. Yeah. Well, uh, 20 years ago, I discovered I had diabetes, so um, I would struggle with my weight for most of my life. And really? when I heard the doctor say one word, mm. diabetes, mm -hmm. I lost 50 pounds in the next 90 days. You know, just wow. It's just when, when sometimes uh, you have an aha. Yeah. And that one word just transforms everything. And every, every action you take thereafter is filtered through that, that aha you have. So uh, that's, that's one of my secrets. <laughs> Why, well, yeah, it scared you into making changes, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Terrified. Yeah. Jeez. Well, I'm, everything's good now. And. Yeah. 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 I mean, you, you, you look great. I would never guess at all that you're that, that yeah, but age. I'll tell you what, I, by my birthday next year, May 20th. Yeah. I, you, what you see of me here today mm -hmm. will be 25 pounds less, less heavy. 20, yeah, 25 pounds as of today. And if, if you text me on that day, my birthday and my weight is not 190, mm -hmm. then, uh, then I have a special gift for you. Uh, I have a special penalty for me. Putting that in my notes right now, May twentieth. Notes, uh -huh. Robert. Step on the scale. Show me at your toes are standing at one ninety, and if they're not at one ninety, you're going to have to pay the price. So now I've I've let it out of the bag. I you love know, it. I love you know, it. You know, you have to do whatever it takes. I call I call that the success cycle. That's another book I'm going to be writing, but. You, you have to desire whatever you desire, then you have to decide mm -hmm. and then you have to declare it. That's what I just did. Mm -hmm. And then you have to deadline it. And I just gave you my deadline. Mm -hmm. And then you have to, you know, do it. You have to do whatever is necessary to get there. You, you need, uh, you need various different an infrastructure around your goals. And one of the infrastructures is declaring it, letting people know there's a consequence. There's a penalty and a con and a consequence and a reward. If mm -hmm. I get to my goal, then my health will be my reward. If I don't, then my consequence will be you. <laughs> so what's the consequence? Oh man, you're gonna make me you're gonna make me step to the plate, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can't just say a consequence. What is it? Well, I just promised you I'd give I'd make you happy with my my little reward. Um a hundred US dollars. One hundred dollars to me if you don't hit one hundred ninety pounds. I'm talking to many people here, and they've got your text number. Absolutely, so yeah. They hey, so one hundred ninety dollars times times all of that times That's everyone exactly, listening. Yeah, exactly. So oh, Jesus, very okay. expensive consequence, right? Listen to that guys. So to that. I, so I'm now, you know, I've set the set the target. So anyway, you have to create an infrastructure. The infrastructure creates. You have to have a a support team around you and and that support team usually is people who are doing it at the same time that's a nice support team i haven't found that yet i haven't established that yet but you know i'm still you know eight nine months away mm -hmm. but as we get closer that's what happens with deadlines mm -hmm. as you get closer to the deadline 
you go, wait a second, this is a dead line, right. not a live line. It's a dead line, meaning I've got to do whatever it takes. And that's what I've always done. I've always, whenever I want to accomplish something big, I, I set a deadline. And so anyway, that's neither here nor there. I love it. Well, you know, you got my support and you know that I'm going to ride you because you just gave me the permission to. I do. So I am happy to ride you for that. And because I know it's for a good cause, it's a good thing to get you where you want to be, right? It's amazing when you're, when you're feeling well and healthy, it really does impact everything else, doesn't it? Everything. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's, the energy. It's um, yeah. It's, and it gives you the ability to live a little bit longer, you know, um, it's, it's amazing how quick 74 years can go. It just blows by and you go, man, did that really happen to me? You know, and so got to do, got to do something to keep it going. Right. Keep Absolutely. the old heart pumping. Mm-hmm. 100%. Uh, oh, I'm the hump, heart is still pumping by the time we get to my next birthday. <laughs> Don't you talk you know? like that. You got way too much to do, my friend, before you're going I anywhere do. anytime soon. I, I, I do. Yeah. Well, and I, you know, here's the thing. Um, you know, when, when we met, um, not that long ago and I was, you know, hearing you speak at an event we were at that we were invited to, I was really, really blown away by a couple of things. Number one, I didn't know that, you know, I didn't know your age, obviously. Right. Um, but I knew you were writing best-selling books when I was, you know, being born, uh, and <laughs> 79, right. So I knew that like this man is still out there killing it, like still out there killing it, right? How many people do you know? Well, probably that not you know, because you're a different circle of people. But yeah. in general, how many people are out there saying, well, once I hit 55 or 60, I'm done. And then there's no purpose. There's no life. Yeah. You could be 75 and you're speaking all over the world. I mean, yeah. you know, we don't have to get into financials, but I know you don't need to. I know it's because you want to, because you have such a passion still to, to give back and to serve. Um, you know, and don't, don't, don't get us wrong. I'm sure the money is still great too, but you can do that. And you're using your brain and your skill and your talent, but really just, you know, you don't have to, and you are, I thought that was really cool. And also the story you told, which we could get into on this show, if you want to, or we could, we could get into other stuff, but just talking about the kind of ups and downs in life that you had. And, you know, a lot of people don't even make a good financial you know, trophy, if you will, once, right? Let alone they make it and they may maybe lose it and then they get it back. And uh, I know you've had some some history that most successful people have. <laughs> it's not a one and done. You gotta you gotta fight for it and things change. And so I thought that was really, really, really cool to hear your story on that. So the the what that brings up for everybody watching is why are you doing the real estate? Mm. So Purpose is a word that resonates with me. You know, why does Celine Dion, you know, still sing? You know, why does, why do the, you know, these performers, why are they still performing? I heard Julio Iglesias say in Las Vegas, I was watching him on one show and he said, I want to go on the stage. When I go, when my heart stops, I want to be in the middle of a song. Mm -hmm. and, wow. and what that, what that means is when you discover why you're here, Mm -hmm. and you say this is my purpose in life then it's not work anymore it's you do this because this is your song and me talking to you right now the reason i i like it you know i enjoy it i'm it's not a chore for me you ask me to do it and i go yes good, good. yeah you know miss yeah. maybe maybe uh, i have a i have a way of singing my lyrics are different than most mm -hmm. other gurus out there Mm -hmm. I have a slightly different way of saying it. My voice resonates in a different way. Maybe I'm going to resonate with a few of your people and maybe I'll turn off the majority of them. But the, a few of your listeners are going to go, yeah, I like the way he said it, you know, and, and uh, good for him. And maybe I can learn something from that, you know? So yeah, that's my song. That's why, yeah, I, I still want to do that. And uh, obviously Spiritual values are really important to me. So I'm going to spend time on that every day. Mm -hmm. Purpose is, is two kinds of purpose. One's a purpose is called your, your just your general purpose. And frankly, the reason we live, and this is my opinion only, but when you read near-death experience books, you, you, they all come back from going across into the next life and coming back. Mm -hmm. And they all say it's all about love. You've got to learn how to love. 
You do, do you love? Have you figured that out yet? You got to love everybody. Love is so important, right? So that's the general mm. purpose. But the but the specific purpose is how do you how do you love the world? And my way mm-hmm. is is I talk about money, and I link money to spiritual values, frankly, and I say money is important you know it's not nearly as important as your spiritual values or your family or your health of course no but it's certainly number four (laughs) yeah and yeah once you once you fix that one and you make that one happen then you can you can enhance everything else in your life you you don't have to be rich in order to learn how to love you don't but there's a few of us who's there it is their skill Mm -hmm. their purpose is really what are you good at Mm-hmm. What's important to you? What do you love to do? What is your destiny? When you answer those four questions and you this is hone in on, so what what do I what's my skill? My skill is to teach. Mm-hmm. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. And I teach on a subject of financial stuff because I'm passionate about that. And it's important to me because my audience, it's important to them. And yet, there's some people are totally turned off by that subject. And I don't want to, they could care less about money. You know, they, and they hate people who talk about money. Or so, you're a bad guy. You're evil because you talk. Exactly. About yeah. So that's not my audience, yep. but the ones who I attract mm-hmm. um, hear my, my song and they go, yeah, I like the way he says it. And so we've been talking about multiple streams of income. Mm-hmm. So you need, yes, you do. You need multiple streams. Mm-hmm. Why? Well, duh, pandemic, duh. Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh, duh. Yeah. Now, when I came back from uh, on the March the 8th, Mm -hmm. came back and the the very next day, the world shut down. It shut down my streams of income, you know, just and just like that. I earned, you know, $30,000 for a speech, you know, somewhere Mm -hmm. around the world. So I, wow. I'll travel to Russia to do that, you know. And sure. I'll travel to Japan, to yeah. China, you know, if I get a nice speaking fee, and I, and then I get to do what I love to do to share my message, and it's just being translated into Chinese, you know. Wow. And I love to travel. That's why I've been to seventy-two countries. So all of this fits into my purpose. Now, when I came home, uh, income stops in that one stream, but I got other streams of income. Hello. Mm-hmm. And therefore. Most people don't. In fact, most families have one stream of income. It's usually one bread earner and sometimes two. And if one of them loses a job, that other bread earner is like strapped stress big time. And and you need two, three, four, 10, 20. So Jesse, you teach them Mm -hmm. how to make chunks of money. Absolutely. They, They make a chunk of money. But uh, sometimes you got to go make another chunk. That means you're still working. Therefore, you're being paid by the hour, really. Mm -hmm. Streams of income is where you got a real estate, small apartment building, and uh, it's being managed by a professional company, and they send you a check every month. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take that one. Mm -hmm. That means I don't have to be here. That means I can go to Paris, and they can still deposit a check into my bank account, and I can access it from Kazakhstan, you know, right from Tahiti, you know, so where the heck you want to go. Exactly. That's residual streams of income. Yes. And, and there are always new ways, you know, when I, when I refresh this book or writing a brand new book on multiple streams, there's another 10 ways of doing it. Besides what I wrote here, mm-hmm. there's so many new ways of doing this. You know, there's NFTs that people go, Oh, that's crazy. You know, that's just stupid art, you know, but, wait a second, um, I've got intellectual property, not just real estate property, mm-hmm. intellectual property. Can that be NFT'd? And if it's NFT'd, mm-hmm. then they they give a percentage of that NFT back to me. So if I sell a piece of my intellectual property, maybe one of my quotes or something else like that, I sell it for a hundred bucks, cheap, nothing, 10 bucks, whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now somebody owns a little piece of my intellectual property, kind of like they would, like I own, a, I, that's that's a Picasso right there. Now that, that's no not way. an original Picasso. Uh-huh. That's a print with his original signature on it. 
Oh, wow. But, yeah, so that is a lithograph of Picasso painting. So he charged, well, I, I paid $15,000 for that 20, wow. 25 years ago. So, yeah. Holy uh, cow. I don't know. I don't know what it's worth today. It could be worth zero to tell you the truth, but I got his signature on there That's and I wanted that. Yeah. Well, Robert Allen has got some fame with a certain group of people. Last last week, 50,000 people saw my social media. TikTok. Me. Can you think of that? 50,000. TikToking. Yeah, you're TikTok uh, up, man. I love it. Facebook. All yeah. That. A couple Get eyes of, and ears on you. A million all. people on TikTok saw one of my social media posts. So wow. uh, I was that was viral. But anyway, but that's awesome. To 100,000 people a week. What if... 10 of them said, yeah, I'd like to have one of Robert's signatures on my thing I can put on the wall. And, and, but I, I keep, I get to keep 10%. So if they ever sell it to somebody else, they have to send me 10%. And if they have, if that person ever sells it to somebody else, they have to send me 10%. And if that person sells it for a thousand dollars, they got to send me 10%. So anyway, wow. if you've got a thousand of those out there. Yeah. And only 1% of them ever sell to somebody else. That means you got a little stream of income coming in. So what I'm trying to share with all of you today is you, you need to put on a multiple streams of income glasses. And so you're looking out of the world and you're going, is that going to be active income or passive income? Ooh. It, no, no, mo active, most of our people understand what that means, but just break it down for the folks well, that don't. A, 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 a passive income, what's that? That's the S&P 500 uh, index fund that every one of you should be buying, no matter how much real estate you buy. You need to own the stock market for the next 50 years. So that's how long you live because the stock market's gonna go up and down and you wanna buy it in dollar cost averaging. So eventually when you get to retire within five years, you'll hopefully hit, hit the market the right, the right spot. Yeah, You'll sell out and you'll put hundreds of thousands of dollars in your bank account in one chunk. Because money working for you. It's passive. passive. In other words, somebody else is managing the Fortune 500 companies and they've got all the stocks and they take little slices of it and they do all this for you and therefore you do nothing but put the money in there and go to sleep, right? Mm -hmm. So that's passive. Now- um, Cash flow from real estate. That's you're exact not cash flow from real estate. But at first, it's like an airplane. You, mm -hmm. You're on the runway, you put the throttle down, you got to go 100%. If you're going to just throttle that at 75%, you and everybody on that plane will die at the end of that runway. Good call. So you have to, you have to give it 100%. And it might be a year or two or three or five, and mm. you're at full throttle. And nobody likes to like work full throttle, but that's what it takes. And then when you lift off and now you own a property or two or three or 10 or 20, Mm -hmm. Now those properties are now in your control. Now you manage them and rent them and whatever, have somebody else manage them for you. And then it starts mm -hmm. to generate small cash flows at first. Hey, but 25 years from now, when those mortgages are paid off, how about surges of cash flow from every one of those properties that have probably gone up five times in value? So not only did you increase your wealth, but you increased your cash flow. That's passive. But at first, is mm -hmm. very active. So it and starts at active and gets to passive. That's it. Then it gets yeah. to passive. Exactly. So, yep. so your glasses are, you're asking yourself the question, mm -hmm. is, is this product that I'm selling through this little business I own, mm -hmm. is it a one-time product mm -hmm. or is it a multiple time product? For, for example, this is my, my mouse, right? Mm -hmm. Apple sold me this mouse. How many times did they sell a mouse to me? Once. One time. One time. One time. Therefore, I'm not going to buy another mouse from Apple. I'm, I, I, might, I might buy another mouse, but maybe I'll only get two. But what I'm mm -hmm. trying to say is the lifetime value of mm -hmm. me to Apple is this computer I'm on right here with you right now. That was 2200 bucks for my 14-inch, mm -hmm. 16-inch screen, whatever it is. That's it. I don't send them any more money, even when I want to have consulting to help me fix a problem on this it's free i call apple they put mm -hmm. a real live person on the phone and they fix it mm -hmm. and it, i send them zero money the only way they get more money from me is if i buy another mac mm -hmm. but steve fixed that <laughs> he said 
We want residual streams of income. We don't mm -hmm. want one-time only income. And most businesses in the world are one-time only businesses. You buy a refrigerator once, and then you'll probably never go back to that same manufacturer again. You buy this fan right up there is above my in the ceiling. I'm going to buy it once. I will never buy another fan like that. Never. Therefore, it's the wrong business. It's the wrong business model. It's a one and done. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Don't buy a business that's a one and done because that means no matter what the economy is doing, you have to continue to sell during good times and bad times the one time only product. And that's not a good business. And look at Warren Buffett. Think about it. Look at all the businesses he owns. <laughs> all really smart. Mm -hmm. He selects 50 businesses. That's what he has his portfolio. And he has multiple billions of dollars, a hundred billion dollars. It's a massive amount of money. 50 companies. Yep. And what are they? Well, one of his first companies was American Express. Now he doesn't own the whole of it, but he owns a big chunk of it. Mm -hmm. That means every time I buy something, with my American Express, Warren Buffett makes money. He doesn't even have to sell it. Yeah. I'm the one that buys it. Anybody You're buying else, it and he's making money. So inspires me to buy something, Warren Buffett wins. Yeah. Oh, this is genius. And then if I don't pay my bill off, he charges me 22% interest mm -hmm. on my on my the balance on my American Express. So he wins in every way, shape, or form. Geico, he owns Geico. Mm -hmm. I have to spend money on Geico every month. This house is insured with Geico. My car is insured with Geico. Every month he sucks money out of my bank account because I'm a, not a one-time only client. I'm a multiple. For the rest of my life, Geico is my company. Why? Because I had a Mercedes stolen out of my driveway here. No way. Literally, when we're moving into our new home. Really? I had escaped from from uh, the prison really? and, and into our yard. And we were there unloading stuff and we're in the house and the keys were in the car. He got oh, in the yeah. car and totaled it. Oh. 20 minutes later, totaled it. It's a beautiful $85,000, unbelievable, gorgeous SUV. I loved it. Uh, totaled. Uh, done. Wow. Geico, done. Here's your, you know, go get it, go get a new car, you know? And You're like, hello, Geico. Geico. Thank you. They don't ask questions. I don't have to yeah. talk to them face to face. They send I, they send me a, a form to fill out and they send a check. And it's so anyway, I've been have had lots of insurance so companies. They earned and, your business and you're and they're keeping they earned my business and I'll yeah. never leave. Yeah. Never. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is for all of you, the mindset of a multiple streamer is it's got to be a multiple, multiple purchase customer, um, multiple purchases. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if it's not, wrong business can't be residual. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So I've sifted through, you know, the world to find types of businesses that would fit here, you know, and fit in this book. And there are 10 mm -hmm. of them. But predominantly, real estate is probably the best. Why? Because it fits the money tree formula. Mm -hmm. And the money tree formula spells the word money tree. Ooh. And so this I is like how this. I know if it's a good business. This is okay. how I sift. M stands for multiple streams of income. Does this one business send me multiple streams of income, not multiple purchases from the same product, but yeah. multiple streams of income from all kinds of ways? Mm. That's multiple streams of income. Mm -hmm. and therefore, mm -hmm. if it doesn't fit that one, nope, it fails. O stands for- And they're just at M, so you got to get to the M first. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're, already, you're already out if you, don't, if you don't pass that test. The, okay. the O stands for- Whatever product you sell, it's got to be it's got to be outstanding. Meaning, it's got to be mm -hmm. differentiated. It, if it's a commodity, mm -hmm. sorry, it, it ain't gonna work. Eventually, somebody's gonna knock you off. It has to be a, outstanding in such a way that it's differentiated as as into an outstanding or a you know a, a revolutionary type of product. So, a lot of companies that aren't, and therefore just don't buy those, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the ant stands for little or nothing down. I don't want to buy a electric turbine engine business where I have to put 10 million bucks into it, but there are turbine angels that are really needed by no, sorry. It's yeah. not nothing down. Yep. I wrote a book called nothing down. So 
You're the king of nothing down. I don't. It's got to be nothing down. Why or, would you put anything down little, if you don't have to? Yeah, little, little or no money down, or yeah. put somebody else's money into it. And all mm-hmm. rich people do this. Mm-hmm. E stands for employee resistant, meaning mm-hmm. if there are a lot of employees, if I, I want little or no employees. Mm-hmm. So if okay. it requires lots, of, like for example, um, Starbucks, great mm-hmm. business. I don't want a Starbucks business. I don't want employees. A you know, lot of employees. Yeah, you know, I don't like employees. I, uh, and the Spanish version of that is no se habla employees. <laughs> mm-hmm. no se habla employees. I don't want employees. Why? Well, there's just all kinds of trouble when it comes, and it's overhead, and you got to pay payroll every two weeks. And yeah, you can have some businesses that, but at least you've kept it small, and your overhead is small. Then if you need to do a cookie cutter thing where you have many of these little things all over the world, yeah, make sure there's just not a whole lot of employees to it. Or you know, every time they open up another store and there's exactly. thousands, tens of thousands. Now, it now this is my more. opinion. And, mm-hmm. and I'm sure other entrepreneurs or gurus will tell you that they've got a different way of doing it. They've solved the employee problem. Mm-hmm. I haven't. Therefore, I won't buy a business that requires lots of employees or if, uh, if that's the case, then I'll let my par- business partner, mm. who is good at managing those details, who likes it I and good do at what it. I'm good at, which is mm. staying home, writing, going, speaking. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. But if my business partner does all those other things and in my place, and that's how they get their 50%, fine, fine. Let them do that. But yeah. not, not for me. The Y stands for yield. I, I don't want to make 2 3% on my money. I want to make 2 3% a week, you know? Heck yeah. I want to make serious money. So it's got to yield high, even though Mm -hmm. the other requirements of, you know, no employees, little or money down, that kind of thing. The T stands for trend. If it's on the, if it's not on trend, don't buy it. Mm -hmm. Because if the trend is going against you, Mm -hmm. that's what, that's what COVID uh, taught us. Absolutely. Kill trends, right? Immediately kill trends. And yet, Mm-hmm. It also launched other trends. Like we're on Zoom right now. Yeah. Zoom was doing 10 million a month in 19 in 2019. Mm-hmm. When we got into 2020, 2021, they're doing 300 million a month. Oh my God. In other I knew, words, I knew they skyrocketed. But I know those kind of numbers. Um, they times their revenue by 30, not 30%, 3,000%. Yeah. And why? Okay. The trend, trend everybody was forced to go online and, well, trend. So if you'd mm. been there just before that trend happened, but you, but nobody could nobody could have predicted it, right? No. But well. Zoom did. I'd been using Zoom for four or five years before. It's the same here, oh, yeah. It was my, it's the easiest way to do it. I said, why isn't everybody doing this? Right. And then COVID happened and everybody did. So uh-huh. anyway, okay. some trends are revealed immediately and some trends uh, you have to know. You look, where is the trend? Where are the baby boomers going? Where are the, the uh, Gen Xers going? You know, where are these different, uh, where are they going? And so it requires some study. And what about real estate? Well, real estate, what a trend. Right. There are going to be 400 people in America in 2040. 400 million. Where Four are they going to live? Wow. Well, they're going to live in a property because everybody needs a roof, roof over, over their head. Absolutely. Everybody does. Mm-hmm. So that gets into the next one. R stands for residual, meaning making money while you sleep. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't do that, don't buy it. Don't do it. Don't build it. Don't work. Don't actively run the runway. Going down the runway would get your plate up in the air. And then all you get is a little pop of income and then it's done. Uh, mm-hmm. Don't don't work at it. Just go find something that does. E stands for the, the the second. The first E stands for essential to everybody every day. Ooh. That doesn't mean every single person on the planet. Mm-hmm. It means your slice, your niche. Riches are in the niches, and I want to find something that my niche wants every day. And not only do they want it. It's essential. Let's wow. go back. Let's go back to Warren Buffett. Mm-hmm. He bought a railroad here recently, like four or five years ago. The oldest 
industry in the world, why the heck would you do that? Because he has a slice who build products where the only way they can get it is a railroad, is a railroad car. And he said, I want to own that. He's going, and, he's going vertical. Yeah. yeah. He's got, and he's got all sides of it. He's, so he's saying, that's my niche. I'm going to mm -hmm. own that. Mm -hmm. And everybody needs uh, the My niche needs it. So essential to everybody every day. Um, it's powerful. That's why, you know, I, I take nutritionals every day and I own a company that does nutritional marketing mm -hmm. and I own a nice, nice chunk of it. That's and, awesome. Uh, and, and my customers, they're $350 million worth of sales last year. Wow. I don't own the whole company, but I own a, a little, well, a little slice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, people all over the world are buying my company's products. Wow. That means I'm making money while I sleep in 24 hours time zones all around the world. It's amazing. So anyway, the final E amazing. is enthusiasm. Mm. So it comes back to the four things I said earlier. Purpose is talent. What are you good at? passion what do you love to do mm -hmm. values what's important to you destiny how do those three mix into your song your your destiny so i like real estate and that's where i was passionate about when i was on the runway i was all in real estate period now i'm not all in real estate now i'm in multiple streams of income now mm -hmm. As I, I have all and kinds your, of other. That's right. your passion now. That's not. It is not my passion now. That's that's true. If I was twenty years younger, I probably would go back into really serious building it because there's so many ways of doing it these days. There's, but that's so but that is your passion though now, isn't it? Is multiple streams of income and those everything that fits what you just spelled out. I like to teach it. I do. Yes. yes. Uh, and that's because I'm at an age where doing it is just not smart for me. Uh, but since I only have a certain amount of time, I like to teach it, you know, and I like to write books about it and I like to speak about it and, uh, been there, done that, done it big time. But now I invest my time in what is really that important to me. This is important to me. Mm -hmm. Not only do your risk listeners, uh, hopefully are learning something that's important for them, but the reason that you and I do this, Jesse, why? Because this is important to us. Absolutely. People think we're nuts. Why are we sharing these secrets with everybody? Are you making more money from your teaching than you are from your real estate? Right. I so many times. And oh, I yeah. go, well, at a time in my life, yeah, I was. Mm -hmm. But now I do. This is my purpose. This is what mm -hmm. I do. And uh, real estate is not what I do. But I can learn from my students. So see, this is the different thing. Mm -hmm. I'm the father. My students are my children. Mm -hmm. My students' students are my grandchildren. My students' students' students are my great-grandchildren. So Ron Legrand, for example, he's a biggie out there, a big guru. He went to my seminar in 1982. Uh -huh. He borrowed the $500 to go to it. And now that we're talking 40 years ago. Wow. Now he's still out there kicking. He's still out doing deals. He sure is. He is he's killing it. Wow. So he's my child. Mm -hmm. He's teaching other people. Those are my grandchildren. And wow. now people are copying him and they're having their own little ways of doing it. Now those are my great, great grandchildren. And what I love is they'll come up to me at a seminar, you know, like you, Jesse, and, and that, that event that we were at the, the, the hero event, mm -hmm. you come mm -hmm. up to me and say, Robert, you don't know this, but, and they'll tell me a story, of how the book came into their life. Mm -hmm. One of my books, mm -hmm. and they'll say, this changed my life. And I can tell you my, my renters, never said anything to me that made me fulfilled mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they usually complained about my rentals yeah my book readers when i when they tell me that they succeeded using just an idea or a thought or philosophy mm -hmm. and they realize that i was the instigator the catalyst maybe i didn't do it but i catalyzed it yeah they went off and did it and they went to other people's seminars. They read other people's books. And, but that was the one that got them started. Mm -hmm. And they say, it was Robert's book. Yeah. And they come up to me and they tell me that. And that just fulfills me so much. It's like, oh man. It's gotta be no better feeling than that. Yes. It just gives, it just gives me boost, boost bumps.
Yeah. That's, You're literally changing lives, just yeah. sharing, giving, teaching your experiences, good, bad, everything. And, and think of, yeah, think of the, the ripple effect on that is incredible that, you, exactly. that you're providing. So for your listeners, mm -hmm. the first thing to do is you have to be successful at something. So Jesse, you have a system that is more, I've never seen a more unique system. And I have seen Thank thousands you. of successful students, but I've never seen the way you do it done the way you do it. I don't know anybody else who's doing it your way, frankly, and I love it. It's fantastic. I appreciate that. I love to hear that because, you know, there's, well, like you said, something that's of uh, difference, something that's not a commodity. And, you know, we look in the world and there's millions of agents and millions of loan officers. And yeah. then there's, you know, a little bit less of flippers. And then, right. And you keep going down, like you said, riches are in the niches and it keeps going yeah. down smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah, what we do is pretty cool. We teach a very, very unique system in putting together the dots in a very different way. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, and so why do you do that, Jesse? Why don't you just go do it? Why do you have to teach it to somebody else? Oh, I mean, man. you are doing it, but yeah. why would you do? Well, probably enjoy it, don't you? I love it. I love yeah. it. I, I love hearing from someone, hey, I'm in this job that I really don't. I don't love it. It's not my passion. It doesn't light me up or, or, or I, I dislike it. I hate it. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't it. stand going there. Um, and I know that I'm meant for something bigger or greater, but I, I need to get out of this and to show them, Hey, here's what I've done. Here's what I've learned. Here's what I've created. Here's, here's where I fell and in mistakes I made. Here's exactly. how to get past it. And if I can do it, trust me, you can do it. I'm a college dropout. Right. I, uh, I've tried a lot of different things and, um, and, I just kind of found for me, my background, what really, you know, lights me up and gets me excited. And I love to show people how they can do the same thing. So your students are who are watching this now, or if they're not your students yet, mm -hmm. and they're just checking in on your podcast, mm -hmm. you got to check out what Jesse is doing. Frankly, it's, it's really something else. But I also wanted you to see his heart. And yeah. does it seem insincere when he said that? He says, I love it. Did you, did he seem like he was lying to you? Oh, I and love it. So sometimes people are very skeptical, Jesse. They just, uh -huh. they just, they just, they put uh, uh, improper or impure motivations on us. They think because we're just rich people and we're just trying to make as much money as we can. Mm -hmm. And the answer is, yeah, sure we are. Well, that's we're entrepreneurs. That's what we do. Yeah. Yeah. We also teach, you know, and, See, but yeah, but if you're a teacher, you're, you, you, you don't know what you're talking about. You, you teach because you can't do. Mm -hmm. Some people say that. Lie. That's a huge lie. Huge lie. Absolutely. Huge lie. Although some people don't like to teach and they mm -hmm. keep it to their best. You keep it close. Mm -hmm. But it's crazy that you'll see the real the ones out there that are teaching it. They have, I, in my experience, I, I know all of them. They're all good people. Mm -hmm. Very few of them are, are really rip off artists. Yeah. There, there are some, there are some, but Absolutely. Of, people at the top, mm -hmm. they're, they're just good people. They just like to do what they do anyway. So I wish we had some, I appreciate I, 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 that. Ask me any of the questions you got. So I, I appreciate that. Well, you know, I mean, you, you bring up a really good point. And one thing I like to point out to people and, you know, those who've listened to a lot of the shows uh, may already know this, but if you haven't, I'll, I'll share it with you. But I think it's even worth pointing out again, if you've heard it before from me, right? How I got into this business was books, YouTube, when YouTube wasn't even very big, right? Yeah. Um, you know, for very little investment or free, but really what catapulted me was taking a chance and believing in a guru and believing in somebody that maybe was just out there to take my money. And I spent $997 on an <laughs> online course. And at this time, the, the you know, uh, mortgage crash had already happened a couple of years before that. I'd gone through a bankruptcy, not, not proud to say it, but I, I'm an open book, right? Um, went from going, things were going very, very well to just not well at all and learned the, you know, power of, of saving and having <laughs> multiple yeah. streams of income and that a lot of things are outside your control. You know, I'm, I'm not the same person I'm now, but a lot of people have said, hey, you're going to get ripped off. Or how do you know this person's even saying anything real? How do you know it's legitimate? How do you know they're not just lying? 
And I'm always, this is me. I'm the person that says, but what if it works? What yeah. if it's right? Right. I spend a thousand dollars. Right. And again, a thousand dollars for some people is a lot of money for other people. It's, it's a, it's okay. And for others, it's not much. Doesn't matter. It's an investment. And that thousand dollars was laid out step-by-step step, videos and downloads and things like this. And, and because somebody took the time to share and teach what they were doing that was making them successful. And I went and did my first real estate deal in creative financing, a lease to own, made $8,000, right? So I made eight times my money in the first deal, helping this family get into a new home. They got out of their tiny little townhouse that they were in with, I think they had four kids. They ran a daycare center out of it. And then this tiny little town home, they got into this nice, much bigger home on one acre of land, private, their daycare uh, kids loved it. And they were like, thanking me, thanking me, thanking me. Oh my God. Like had I not taken a chance, I wouldn't have been able to help this couple get into this new home. I eight X'd my money and yeah. then I did it again. And then I did it again and I did it again. And then, you know, all of a sudden started people started asking me questions and seeing what I was doing and, and asking. And I said, well, gosh, maybe, maybe I can help people and still make some money and teach and help and create and learn the power of you know what you've known for a very very long time and uh it's it's an amazing business right and i think people who are successful they owe it to everyone else they owe it to the world to help and to teach and to give back doesn't matter what level of success you are there's you know hundreds of levels i don't care but there's there's always something you can give back and share, right? And I mean, again, you're still doing it right now. You don't need to. You you like to you. It lights you up. And anybody who talked with you for a couple of minutes can tell that. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Well, um, your uh, I'll get you a copy of this uh, of the challenge book so you can give it to them. If you go to uh, robertallen.com, mm -hmm. uh, there, there's an opt in there where, where I will send you a copy of the uh, Think and Grow Rich audio, which Ooh. I recorded the entire book in the 1937 edition in my own voice. And when you hear that, you go, hey, this is slightly different than the Think and Grow Rich that I read, you know, seven, eight years ago. Mm -hmm. They modernized it and they took all the good stuff out. And you need to, to hear the way Napoleon Hill taught people just coming out of the depression. Mm -hmm. What was he saying to them? Mm -hmm. Why is it the all-time best-selling success book in the history of the world? In addition, you know, not if you're not talking about the Bible or the Quran or another spiritual book, mm -hmm. this sold almost a hundred million copies. That's just almost unbelievable. That's insane. And uh, so, anyway, you'll get a, a copy of that. That's uh, there's some other free stuff there. I think. Oh man, thank uh, you. Anyway, so Robert ahead. Robert Allen dot com. Robert Allen, A L L E N dot com. That's right. A L L E N dot com. Don't confuse it with the, the fabric company. There's a company called Robert Allen dot com that sells fabric. That's Beautiful. not you. <laughs> that ain't you. That ain't, you. <laughs> ain't selling fabric. Ain't selling fabric. Well, if, if you could kind of sum up, Robert, for our listeners at this time in the economy, at this time where we're at, and people want to get into multiple streams of income or they're just, they're, they're like, hey, I get it. I can't just have this one employer that is literally the difference in me making my my mortgage payment, my my car payment, my kids' tuition, right? Food. Um, what, what do you suggest? I know this is, this, this is a tough, tricky question. A lot of answers, but what should that person do to take action, to do something to move forward? The word is action. Mm -hmm. And uh, you need to have what I call an RGA every day. Your RGA stands for results generating activity. So mm -hmm. this podcast is not a results generating activity. We're watching. They're watching us talk mm -hmm. and they're taking notes. Mm -hmm. That did not make you any money. Mm -mm. The only thing you can do is decide to sell something. You have to sell something. That's what entrepreneurs do. What if people don't like sales? Like, I don't like sales or I'm not a salesperson. Exactly. That's, that's where I was just going. I didn't like sales either. But I sold my seminar. Mm -hmm. And uh, is that selling? I sold my books. Is that selling? Absolutely. No, no, that's not selling. That's what I love to do. You know? And so I had a big thing on, uh, about salespeople. I, I didn't want to be appear, appear as that kind of person mm -hmm. who is pushy, pushy, pushy all the time. 
And uh, so I had to figure out a way where I could sell in a way that fit my personality. And I call that heart sell, not hard sell, but heart Ooh, sell. Like that heart and sell. Heart sell. And therefore, when you're when you're doing what you love to do, when that's important to you, that's what you're good at. That's what you should be selling, frankly. And what product fits that, that's the, how you love the world. You sell what fits who you are to the world. And therefore that works. So th th as an entrepreneur, you have mm -hmm. to sell something. And if you don't know how to sell, then find somebody who does know how to sell. That will mm -hmm. be your team mate. Maybe you're the one who creates the stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody's got to sell it. Mm -hmm. if you're not selling, it's not working. Then you have to find a product that you love to sell. So real estate, obviously for you and me, Jesse, mm -hmm. it's the best product because it fits it. The, multi, 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 the money tree formula. Mm -hmm. Real estate, multiple streams of income, outstanding product. You only buy in good locations. Uh, N, nothing down. E, employee resistant. Y, yield. T, trend. R, residual. E, e essential to everybody every day. Got to have a roof over your head. And, it and nails this, everything. Yes. And so yeah. that, that's the money tree formula. And all other businesses that fit that formula, such as sometimes a network marketing business, can fit that. Sometimes, you know, the NFT I talked about earlier. Uh, how you, you how you find businesses like Warren Buffett does. So anyway, got to sell something. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we fit it into your purpose line. That would be nice. Real estate would be the best. I hope you like real estate because it is the best business by far, by far. And, and here's the thing. A lot of people think with sales, right? That you, like you said, you nail it ahead. People are sleazy salespeople or the snake oil stuff. Yeah. And it's people who are just pushing product or services they don't like, they don't believe in. But when you're really being open and honest and have ethics and morality, yeah. and you're explaining to people just how you can help them. And if you can't, you can't, right? Yeah. And that's okay, right? It has to make sense. And so you're just simply, you know, I really look at it as problem solving because most of the people that, that enter my world, they yeah. have a problem. And I just happen to have a, a skill set that I love to solve problems. I like to take something that looks like a problem and say, here's how we can fix this. Or here's some ideas. What can we do? And, um, you know, I've, you know, I've talked about this, you know, multiple times. It, it sounds super cheesy, but we offer win, win, win solutions. Everybody gets what they want and it's very transparent. It's very open. It's very honest. And they go, wow, I, I never would have thought of that. I, how, 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 how do you do this? Or how did this come to be? And so, it's just taking my skill set and problems. I mean, you have your skill set and your problem solve. And so whether you're in the trades or whether you're in food, whether you're in law, whether you're in yeah, yeah. whatever, and, and teaching, you could teach anything. We're in a crazy day and age, right? Would you ever think, I mean, when you were growing up, I bet you, if anyone said the word teacher, you thought, I have to go teach public school, That's right? right. Or no. be a professor. Yeah. And yeah. I... Don't want to do that, but I like the idea of teaching and sharing, but there's no way I want to do that. Yeah. Well, you can teach the world, not just the school or the school district or the university, the world and get your message out and share and teach and make a pretty damn good living at doing it yeah. as, as you've obviously been doing for 40 years, right? The niches are in the riches in the niches. Mm -hmm. Somebody say, yeah, but only one person in a million would want that, you know, mm. and you say, well, how many people are on the planet? There's 7 billion people. Therefore, one in a million is 7,000 people. And if you just sold 7,000 people in your entire life, the right. right kind of product, you could live very, very richly one in a million. <laughs> That's a great point. That is a great point. Absolutely. And, and, and you're not selling the people that don't want it, don't need it, don't appreciate it. And that's yeah. fine. That's yeah. great. Right. Yeah. Yep. You're, 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 you're offering and helping the people that need it and want it. But if real estate is, is in your wavelength, mm -hmm. you know, Jesse, your system is very unique. And I, uh, not only are you helping your, uh, a member of the people of your customers, the customer base, they need it. They have a problem. You solve it. Mm -hmm. But then you can teach other people how to do what you do. Absolutely. 
and by coaching them to launch their own business exactly the way you do it, not in your state. Mm -hmm. You don't want them in your state. Correct. But in the state next to you, they could do it. They could do it in California. They could do it in or or and in Florida. Yeah, you could have uh, people that would be that would be doing exactly what you do and making serious money at it. Maybe even more money than you do. I hope they do. <laughs> I hope they do. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. I have I some bet. students right now that are crushing it, and well, I look at the months they're having, and they didn't have those kind of years. <laughs> a couple years ago and that's their month and it's it's so rewarding like wow and again like you said i love how you said that earlier i didn't do it they did all the work but yeah. i was the catalyst and maybe yeah. i got them to doing something that got them to that point right yeah um, they, they didn't know what questions to ask no no and you showed them here are the questions you need to ask and here are the little answers you need mm -hmm. and i'll show you how to get those answers and when they do those answers add up to money. Absolutely. They didn't even know. They didn't even know what to look for. No. You the system. So this is how you do it. Well, and one of the things that you you mentioned in the abbreviation, right, is um, and I don't know the exact word for the letter, but but being unique, right? Yeah. Um, in, revolutionary. In, in, revolutionary. Thank you. Right. Right now, again, my background: is fifteen years of the mortgage business, right? You know, 10, 12 years in real estate. I know so many mortgage brokers and loan officers who are going, Jesse, holy crap, what just happened in the last like 90 days, 120 days yeah. with the rates? Yeah. And they went from, I don't have time to call anyone back because I'm so important, so busy to going, oh my Lord, I have no more refis. And yeah. people Both aren't asking operating. for pre-approvals every minute. Yeah, yeah exactly. and, and they're going, wow, there's a shift. So what do you do, right? And so having something where you're not a commodity is so damn important. And yeah. that's one of the cool things I know with, with well, the way we do our system is you're not a commodity. People are coming to you. By the, by the commodity bro uh, broker, mm -hmm. their business is dying. And the fact that their business is dying actually makes your business into a Zoom business. It's exploding. Right. Because of the same problems they're having, they're causing your business to go nuts. That's right? true. That's totally true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's 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 seeing these these different shifts that are happening, and um, I think a lot of it's just you have to just stop, pause, and and take an assessment, right? Um, some of the questions you mentioned at the very beginning, I don't know how many people ever ask themselves these questions, right? What's my purpose? What's my value? What lights me up? You know, and you're on your deathbed. What are you What are you thinking about all the things you didn't do? And it's relationships, and um, but just you wake up every day. We all have 24 hours in a day, but some people spend it so differently. And I think everybody just needs to take a pause. You know, a lot of people are, I think, right? After COVID, it's, uh, you know, it's frustrating when you can't, you know, get your food because no one's showing up to work. But hey, you know what? I respect them for pausing and thinking about what do they want to do and for looking at the options that are out there. So, um, you know, I love anyone who's watching and listening to this, Robert, right? I know you do too, because that's somebody who's open-minded and to saying, hey, I know that there's so much incredible possibility out there in the world and opportunity. It is literally everywhere around you and you can make whatever the heck you want to make out of it. You literally can create just about anything you can. You just have to be surrounded by the ideas and, and, you know, ask the questions, right? Someone's doing it, right? If I want to get paid to go speak, I know someone now uh -huh. blessed to say, Hey, how the hell are you making money in Kazakhstan? Right. And do you know Mandarin? How are you speaking in China? How did that happen? Someone's yeah. done it. It's not me. I don't have to reinvent the wheel. But now I have someone um, amazing in my in my circle uh, and that I'm blessed to call a friend that I can say, hey, Robert, can you shed a little light on how did this happen? And I know you would because that's the other thing, right? People think the rich and the wealthy and successful, they, they, they hold it all back and they don't want to see people get there. And sure, yeah, there might be a few people out there, but most of the folks that I've been really lucky to meet and encounter are just like you, right? There's like, I'll tell you anything. Here's my Rolodex. Call this person, talk to this person. Here's what I did. And they want to share and they want to help. Then it's up to you when someone does that, right? Someone's giving you the roadmap. You better put some gas in the car, start it up and start driving. Yeah. Man. At the lower echelons, it's dog eat dog. But at the upper echelons, it's dog help dog. Mm, it's totally. just what we do. We just yeah. help each other. 
So I love that. Yeah. Love that, man. All right. Well, well, Jesse, you have a wonderful day. I think you're taking your kids somewhere to, this afternoon, right? Where are you going? Well, we're probably going up to one of our Airbnbs and we're going to go swim and do some hiking and uh, just hang out for the weekend. Yeah. It's one of the you know, four or five that's um, not taken. So that's good. And yeah, I'll, you know, and, and as we're playing and as we're going out for dinner, it's all a write off and we're exploring and uh, checking in on the properties. So, yeah. you know, you know, I, just like you, I love to integrate, right? business and lifestyle and really make it you know one it doesn't have to be one or the other yeah see you my friends uh thank you jesse yeah, i strongly recommend what all you're doing because i i got a chance to peek behind the curtains everybody i got to see what he's doing and how he's doing it and i'm so impressed so thank you see you, see you my friends god bless everybody thanks robert hey guys i hope you enjoyed this episode my god the one the only best-selling author, public speaker in 70 plus countries, Robert Allen. Holy crap. Uh, what a great guy he is, right? So make sure you go take advantage. He's giving you free books. He's giving you a free audio book, right? Go to that. Go check it out, robertallen.com. And then if you have any interest in getting your own real estate business going, whether it's your first property or you have many but you want to have another stream of income, another way of doing deals, maybe a little smarter, maybe a little less work, maybe a little bit more consistent. Okay. Go to thejessemills.com, T H E J E S S E M I L L S, thejessemills.com. And there you will see a couple of short videos that'll tell you how you and I can work together, whether you're just looking to invest whether you're looking to just do more deals, if you're in the real estate and mortgage business and you wanna ramp up the deals you're doing, uh, whether you're a little scared with what's going on and you need to find some more ways to just make more money and help more people, okay, go there. Or as Robert was telling you, if you wanna work with me and you wanna partner with me and have me help you basically create the amazing business that I do in your local market, anywhere in the United States, we've got people doing it all over the country and I'd love to help you figure out how to do that as well. We could close deals together, be super fun. So go to thejessemills.com, check that out. And um, also if you want a copy of the book other than the website, okay, I know Robert gave you the website, um, but to join our um, podcast list and hear about new episodes that are coming out and to basically ask me any questions that you got, hit me up with some questions. Text me at 612-662-6629. Again, 612-662-6629. That is my new text line. And I will hit you right back on that, okay? Have a great day. Go kill it. Have fun. And as always, thank you for listening to the Creative Cash Flow Show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, share it with a friend. And uh, we'd love to hear your feedback and your comments. Thanks. Talk to you soon.